Hi everybody, it's Boaz Fader and I'm here with the Daily Astrology Forecast for June 26, 2016. It's a Sunday and today there is strange energy in the skies. I mean, the moon is in uh, Pisces and it's on the south node. A lot of intuition and a lot of memories and nostalgia can come up from the past and, and really float up and, and make us feel like we need to have some fun and indulge ourselves. And we have to be a bit careful with that. We need to be careful from, oh, Georgia, of course, how can we make a video without you? Please come. Yes, the minute she sees I'm filming, she comes over. So be quiet. Yeah. Anyway, so we need to be careful from self-indulgence today because the moon is going to be opposed to Jupiter. And in that time, we could really ask for too much. There's a trine to Mars today that is a lot of energy, a lot, a lot of energy that we could utilize to take things forward. But there's also a square to Mercury, which means that we could, be, um, we could have less tact and less diplomacy in the way we communicate with other people. So we need to watch that. Don't let that energetic Mars come between you and other people. Be careful with what you say today and be careful with how you interact with other people. And at the night time in Europe, that's around evening time in the United States, there's a, a conjunction between the moon and Chiron. It's a sensitive time. It's a time that we could heal pains that we've been going through through the day and go to sleep much more easily, hopefully, you know, because again, this is a sensitive time that we could be in touch with our own pain. Venus is trining Neptune and it's in uh, Cancer already. So there's a lot of romance coming back into our relationships. And that's great. We can enjoy romantic relationships during the next few days. But be careful. Don't be too naive regarding things that concern money affairs or relationships. See things as they are and not as you would like them to be. And Mars. We've been talking about Mars lately. That makes us feel exhausted, makes us feel frustrated. And now it still gives us trouble. It's in retro. It's in Scorpio. And it's in a yod formation to Uranus and, Cer and Ceres, Queen Kong says Uranus and Ceres on the one hand and Mercury on the other. So we really need to be exact with how we spend our energy. We really need to be efficient. Don't spend energy and time about, on things that you don't really need to be, do, to, to be doing or are not um, beneficial for your future. And really pay attention to how you do things during these days. We are required to have a greater hygiene, a greater sincerity, a greater morality in the way we act and go through life during these days. And our light comes from Jupiter that is trining Pluto, giving us a lot of strength, inner strength, and a lot of op optimism and uh, benevolence that we can take and adapt into our lives. And it will be there along with us during the next few weeks and that's a pretty big light. So I hope you're going to have a beautiful week ahead. And thank you for listening. And please stay in touch. Take care. This is Boaz Fader. Goodbye.